I see we're live. We're there. Yay. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Yes. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm here with Audra Jedica, one of our creative partners, and she is pulling out her scrapbooks to inspire us with some COVID. Well, some of the ways that she has decided to document some of her own personal COVID and quarantine memories. And of course, it's always just fun to take a peek into the scrapbooks. And we always encourage you to make a little time to pull out your own scrapbooks and you'll be surprised not only down going down memory lane, but the inspiration that you'll find inside of your, your own personal books as well. So uh, thanks so much, Jody or uh, Audra, and we'll turn it over to you. Awesome. Well, welcome everybody. And you know what, Susan, that is pretty much how I feel. I was pulling out these albums and cruising down memory lane is exactly what I did. It was so much fun to do that. Um, I think we just, yeah, we put the pages away and then we, we kind of tuck them away and don't think about it until the kids come over and they tend to grab them out, which is awesome. But then I'm like, oh, personally doing it myself, I was even, even more excited. So I'm going to focus on quarantine today and um, I'm really excited to be here. And for those of you that don't know me, my name is Audrey Yablitschka and I'm a creative partner with Kiwi Lane. And um, boy, I've just been kind of using some of this time through COVID to be able to scrapbook and catch up on some pages. How about all of you catching up? That is like a, a thing that uh, seems crazy that we can, we can never get there as, as moms and grandmas and all that good stuff. So this time through um, COVID to be able to scrapbook and catch up on some I just pages. hit, a, so hit a volume. I apologize. Hold on one second. Okay. So um, I am, I'm, I have some pages to show you that um, I've created through the COVID break, but I'm going to start out with the quarantine paper that um, we all just got and we're able to capture specific moments. So I've been excited to be able to create with that paper and talk about fun colors, everything with it. it I just, I had a blast with this paper. In fact, look what's left. <laughs> Not much. So I'm going to be able to make a few cards, which I'm excited to do that just because the colors are just so awesome. So uh, what a what a great what a great kit. Thrilled to uh, thrilled to use the paper. Hi, Linda. Welcome. As you guys sign on, just say hi. and Let me know you're here. Um, what I did is the album kind of looks empty. Well, because I had so much glare happening that I decided I would pull out some of my pages that I wanted to show you. Um, so trust me, I have albums full, but I also just came from doing an event and oh gosh, was that a blessing? How many of you guys are ready to get back to crops and events and be with the girls? Um, I know I was way, way beyond um, ready. So hi, Betsy. Um, so I had set up a Kiwi booth, so I had pulled out a few pages. So just know they're all in my albums, but I wanted to be able to make sure that there was no glare. This is one of the pages that I made, I've got it backwards, that I made from the quarantine kit. And oh, you guys, again, I'm just going to keep bragging on the colors because the colors are just amazing. And they were just Fun, fun to work with. So one of the projects that we did um, during COVID was I got to spend a lot of time with my grandkids. And it was kind of a blessing and also a, a hard time for us. I know many of you know that my husband was um, diagnosed with cancer. And so, hi, Leslie. Hi, Terry. Hi, Patty. Hi to all of you, Denise. Um, my husband was sick with cancer, but you know, the blessing was the kids were all home. And so we did projects together. So there were some really great times um, that we spent, even though he was so sick. And one of them was scrapbooking, because I have to make sure that my eight year old granddaughter creates a passion and a love for um, keeping all of these photos that we take into. Um, into care and into putting them into albums. And not that my daughter doesn't, but she's a busy mom of three. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Johnny. Um, so she's a busy mom of three. So guess what? Haley can, I've done um, a live with my granddaughter before, if you caught that, but she, she can do all these pages with the Kiwi Lane templates. That's what I love so much. It doesn't matter if you're eight or if you're 80, um, you can, you can use the templates and do this. So 
Um, this was one of our quarantine moments when we were all like, what are we gonna do? Let's get busy, let's craft something. So we actually painted. So my granddaughter painted these cute little, um, they were like ceramic resin animals. So she was busy doing that. And this is my daughter, Ashley. Her and I were painting a spring welcome door hanger. So not only do we love to scrapbook, we also love to um, just craft anything. Like I know, <laughs> like a lot of you, it's funny how when we're in one hobby, we can drift in and out. I know a lot of people are quilters as well. So we got out our paints that day and this is how the story went. Um, I used the house here and it, the topic on the tag, if you remember one of the cards said, just another day in quarantine life. And so I wrote, I journaled, I wrote, all three of us girls love to craft and paint. So as we took care of Dale, we made door hangers and painted resin animals and we even scrapbooked some. So I just loved being able to exactly Susan creative distractions. And we went from such a sad, heavy heart with um, taking care of Dale. And as soon as we crafted, you guys, it just, it just changed everything so it was super fun to do it but a super easy layout and I love the stay at home the save lives I love the happy bubbles it fit all of us what we were doing I especially enjoyed doing this um, I made this in the flower vase part into a um, painter's bucket I guess I'm going to call it and I took delusions and I just splatted so you can see all the colors on the splat and then I took the, some of the paints that, I, that Haley colored with my granddaughter and I just um, added water to them and I took my paintbrush and I just dripped it so that it looked like it was just hanging in there. So um, it's so fun just to add the, the part of it that we were painting and I wanted to make sure that part got put in here. I also did it on this page and I put it right behind this sweet little new template that we have. You can kind of see the paint going behind there. Yes, yes, I used glossy on here. Can you see that? So I did um, every, other, every other line in that paper and it just really adds something to it. I think it makes even the quarantine part of this come alive and the paint, just a nice little grouping. So, that's that layout and I'm an arrow person. I don't know about you guys, but I love to just drive those arrows into exactly what we're doing. And I took the cloud from Celebrate. Oh, Pam, I love crafting with my granddaughter too. It's just the funnest. <laughs> um, so then I made sure that I got creative distractions out of the cloud in the COVID-19. That was one of my favorite part is the cards and kudos and hats off to Susan and the team because their verbiage and their words, what they put on those cards, um, they're real, they're, they're personalized, they're us, they're what we are thinking. And I've, I've purchased many of uh, ephemera packs and um, just the 12 by 12 that'll have all the quotes on it. But um, they're they're so generic and you can just tell that the person maybe creating those weren't alive in this kit where I believe that Susan and the gals just it fits this kit and so I'm like they took the words right out of my mouth <laughs> so yep and I love the scissors too having the scissors a part of it even though we were painting that day it's crafty it's what we want to do so Fun little layout. Again, I love the colors. And yes, I know you guys have the cutest granddaughter, but so do I, right? We all do. So thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed the pages. All right, on to the next couple. This, you guys, um, I kept the, the quarantine paper going. And this kind of seems probably a little strange to you all that we um, are swimming. <laughs> Um, but if you read the words, it says Lake Time COVID Days. And I just decided that I was going to just be real and honest. This was the beginning of May. We were tired of being <laughs> locked up. I live on a lake house. And again, we were still very much so taking care of Dale. And my grandkids looked out at that lake water and they just kept saying, we want to swim. We want to swim. And I was like, guys, that water is going to be an iceberg. It's the beginning of May. We just, we can't do that yet. But this sweet little guy here, which is my son, Clint, 
he's their uncle. Guess what he decided to do? He decided he would um, handle the frigid waters and he jumped in. So the beginning of May, <laughs> during still many, um, many pressures of COVID and, and being safe, that's what they did. They went and swam. So you know, what does grandma do? I get my pictures out or my camera out and I'm snapping pictures like crazy and their teeth were chattering. So I have another two pages that I want to finish. I have more pictures that I want to finish of this because I need to tell the story that their teeth were chattering. <laughs> and little Casey here, if you can't tell, he's got a half smile, you know, on his face. And I just really wanted to show that off because he wouldn't get in the water. He's only two. And he was like, these people are crazy. <laughs> but this is what I journaled. And I loved, again, I love this card, this tag. It was so fitting. My thoughts about COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm just going to read that to you because I hope that I inspire you guys all to journal because you just, you really need to make sure that you're, that you are journaling. Um, so I wrote... I hope I didn't lose you guys. Am I with you yet? My, my screen went black, but I think I'm still with you. Just confirm that I'm here. Oh, picture is gone. Yeah, that's what you said, Linda. Okay, picture's back. Sorry for the interruption. Not sure what happened, but this is what I wrote. So continue journaling. Even if you don't like your handwriting, journal, journal, journal. That's why the gals put this um, journal cards in our pack. Just make sure that you're doing that. Thanks, Lumi, I'm back. I appreciate it. So I wrote, COVID was an extra tough time for our family as we were struggling between losing Dale and still mentally working hard to keep fighting the good fight. On this day in May, the water was not near close to warm, but the kids wanted to swim and Uncle Clint was the warrior water hero. It was a good day with laughter and needed smiles. Kids missed their classmates and their normal life as well as supporting grandpa in his hard fight fought battle. So um, I did, I scrapped it because that's what we were doing during quarantine. They were in the lake, in the frigid lake. So I, I wanna show you my fish. I especially love them. Um, this is from Paradise and they're big fish but I still just wanted to pack them on because we have fish in the lake. And that's part of the story that I'll finish telling when I finish the next couple of pages, because the kids would say, something's biting me, something's biting. And it was just like a little nibble. So we believe that the fish were probably ready for some <laughs> real food in the lake. So I had to put the fish on there, but I used um, enamel uh, and I love to use use that so enamel um, is just when you just dump it on and you take your heat gun and you heat it from underneath so um, it just adds that little bit of a sparkle to it can you see that well all right so that's what I did with the fish otherwise you know it's pretty basic one of the things that I love doing is I think this is cheerful or thoughtful I love using the tiny borders I think that's fabulous to use those on a layout. I have the new templates on here as well. And um, I'm gonna show you two from my first one. One of the things that I always do, just an FYI, I always write on the back all the templates I used and all the products that I used. So make sure this is a good thing because sometimes I look at a page that I've done and I say, gosh, I really like that. It's just a quick little referral. So also then if I wanna use any colors or sprays and I just wanna grab quickly, I know exactly what I used. So I'm not seeing any comments anymore. So I'm hoping I'm still live, I can see that. But if you guys are commenting, um, I'm not seeing them just so you know. Um, so I'm not ignoring you. Um, Thanks, Linda, for the great idea, but make sure that's a really good idea to do because it's a quick referral. But some fun and use your tiny borders, pull them into your big layout, big 12 inch borders. It's a nice integration to do that. Such a fun little thing. Okay, onward ho. So now that I've showed you my quarantine paper, I'm just gonna show you some of the layouts that I was doing because my quarantine time my sanity time was um, scrapbooking. So these were some of the layouts that I did while I was um, home quarantined. 
This one's called Good Times. And one of my favorite, favorite uh, templates are tags. And I love the tags just because you can do so many things with them. So on this page, I didn't use a 12 inch border. I just used the ta tags as a full background. And I just, I think they're so fun. And this was from a paper pack that had a little bit of a wild paper pattern. And so I thought it would be fun to intermix them on it. I love to use my wooden um, letters, my wooden words, and um, that just says good times on it. And of course, I am a Nouveau girl, so I just put big old Nouveau drops on the pages in a couple different spots. So instead of always having true embellishments, I, I like to just put my own dots, however random that I want. So I did them over there, and then I did a couple sections here as well. Linda, you love the tags too, huh? That, yeah, some of my favorites. So, and then I made these little dots with the Nubo, really tall, they're almost pokey, <laughs> but I wanted to be able to really see them uh, um, when I had them in my album and on my pages. So um, this one is again, another little tribute to Dale. It says, it's, it is hard to forget someone who gave you so much to remember. So I just, um, thought I'd have fun. I was pulling out old pictures. So look at how young in that, uh, let's see, I'm going to say 80s hair yet. <laughs> I had some good hair happening. And this is when my kids were like 13 and 14 years old. And um, here we are at our county fair. So not only is it fun to pull out the albums, it's fun to pull out pictures that you know you need to get um, scrapbooking. And so that's what I did. I did not sew across the top or the bottom. Um, what you're seeing here is if this is what you're looking at, Linda, this is just an ink pen and I'm just doing my dots, my black pen and I'm just dotting and dashing. The paper may look like um, that I sewed somewhere, but I did not. This is just a um, 12 inch one by one by 12 using that. So gorgeous paper line, simple layout. And again, take note, I didn't use any big 12 inch border at all. I just used my, my tags. So that was one of my layouts during quarantine. Here's another one that I did during quarantine. And this, all of these things, um, many of the events uh, were during quarantine. So these were some of them. Um, my little grandson, actually they had their, they didn't have their county fair, but they had parts of it and he got some mutton bust. <laughs> so this is a picture of him standing up quite proud after he mutton busted. And um, that, so that was one of the few times that we got out during quarantine, but we did go to watch him mutton bust. And then these were all pictures that his mom took during quarantine. And I loved it because even when we were apart, I'd get pictures of the kids, you know, snuggled in bed, kind of at home, relaxing, or here's Eli being quite a little goof. So I teased him that day and said, are you ready for Halloween? <laughs> this photo um, is, this paper is from Photo Play and it has the little gnome and it says, no one makes me smile like you do. I'm really liking Photo Play's gnome themes. And if you haven't seen their harvest, um, they have a Thanksgiving one. That's a gorgeous paper line as well. So again, I'm gonna pull out that I love the tags. Can you tell I, I love those? So a um, little bit of Nouveau on here and here and over here, I'm back to the glossy accents. I just love glossy accents. So this is a fun little layout. Um, he is brave, Leslie. Um, I he, his sister hung on the whole time and rode the sheep like no other. And he, Eli kind of gave way soon, but um, he was certainly proud of himself and they're big old sheep. So um, I thought he was crazy to get on it in the first place. The other little added touch that I'm gonna point out besides glossy accents and the Nuvo is I love to use Kaiser Crafts jewels. And just, um, I think our templates have the neatest design and when I add jewels on the edge I think that really highlights the points the the edge and the curves um, I'm just showing off how awesomely cool our borders are in our templates so that's one of the reasons why I actually 
um, follow the template edges like that, or yeah, the border edges, because I'm just showing it off. So COVID pictures and lots of fun. So then the next thing during COVID, when the kids come to see grandma and grandpa and hang with us, um, let's see, I have to think of which way I have this. Yes, this is correct. Um, my granddaughter absolutely loves cats. She is just a cat and a pet and a dog and an animal fanatic. And so I realized how many pictures I have of her just that I kept snapping away as they would come and look at cats and then also pictures that her mom would send me. So I decided I needed to get um, a pet page kind of going. And this paper line too is, um, it is out of the camp, well, let's see, did I write it? It's called, it's from Photo Place Camp Happy Bear. So it's a camping paper line. So obviously I did pets on it. Remember that is one of my ideas to inspire to all of you gals was that you don't have to use the paper line specifically that it's intended to be for just because the topic is camping. I used it on pets. And how cute is that for a little farm background? I loved it. So um, it kind of makes it pretty easy to tell the story. Critters, memories, and documented. And I put Haley's cats with a little cat tag. And check this out. I'm super proud of myself because I can, am pretty crafty. But I cannot draw a stick person very good. <laughs> so um, I drew the little face on the cat. I used a ton of pop dots and I doubled it because I really wanted that cat face to pop off. And so I just took my white pen and I drew a little face on there. I am also a ring person and this was our new template so that we could follow along. Look at how awesome the edges work when, the, when we're using the plate, templates back to back. What an awesome idea to create that. Then I've got my little bone and then I just used, pulled in my tags again. It's a very simple layout but it, boy, does it show off what I'm supposed to show off. And that's the sweet little girl loving her cats and her two dogs, Cooper and Daisy. So hope you like that layout, simplicity, and definitely a COVID event for us because we spent a lot of time with those little critters during COVID. Again, can you tell I enjoy my grandkids? <laughs> kind of my go-to of scrapbooking. So this is little Casey and he, um, grandma got him a little Tonka truck that we had. Um, thanks for all the loves. I know that you guys love to scrap for those special people in your life as well. I had this Tonka truck in a box. I'm not sure ever buy too many Christmas presents and you decide that you have too many for each kid. <laughs> it's, it's easy to buy too much for grandkids. So um, this was still in the box. Well, he found it at grandma's house during COVID. So of course we pulled it out and he was running around with no shirt on. And I just thought I have to tell the story of his little face faces because he has a lot of different expressions. So I'm gonna pull this up close, but look closely at his expressions. And that's really where I was at. And if you notice, I used the small pictures because I just wanted to get expressions. So um, these are two by threes. And that's the other thing, why I love Kiwi Lane. We have our photo templates. And for those of you, I'm finding out there's quite a few people that really don't um, use them. And I, I'm not sure if you understand totally when you don't, because if you're designing it, it is just a huge integral part of the design. Because when I can lay those photo mats on there, I can visually see exactly what size of picture I need to do what I need to do. And my, my focus was to show off his expressions. So I cropped right in there and I knew the two by threes were the perfect size. So if you're not using your photo mats, make sure that you are so that you're really being able to show the point and what you're trying to drive home on, on your layout. So, just tons of pictures of little Casey doing what he does on, on the taco truck. And um, I wanted to add a little extra color as well. So if you notice some of these spots, they're not a part of the paper line. I, I just took my little paintbrush and I just flicked on Delusion spray paint with the paintbrush. This side shows it probably even better. 
Um, oh, Nikki. Yes. Um, see, that's, you're, I'm glad you're pointing that out because a lot of people don't buy the photo templates because they don't think they'll use them. But if they're truly showing the Kiwi Lane play to create system, they'll know how valuable they are. And then we do, we always pull them out. So here's more of my paint splats. And how do you like my little pickup truck? <laughs> I had a blast making this truck because I'm like, I need to have it towing the word that was on Casey's mind that day. And he just kept driving this little um, truck and he was like, yay, yay. So I'm like, I have to have that on. And I found it in one of my thickers um, from American Crafts. And I'm like, this is awesome. So I just, I did, I hooked it to the bumper and used my string and tucked it underneath the word yay. And that's my message. I'm like, this is what it, what it is. And again, the paper works great because we can put our templates on there and it says, this is how we roll. <laughs> so um, Leslie, all I use to make the paint splatter, I literally use a very cheap paint brush that has about a half inch um, brush. I unscrew my Delusions lid and I take my paintbrush in there and then I just hold the paintbrush like this and I just take my finger and I flick it down so it just kind of splats everywhere. So um, just real easy to use it. The cheaper the paintbrush, the better because it doesn't have great bristles. <laughs> so go buy something really cheap from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Anyway, refuel here, ready, set, go. Again, I used um, glossy accents my paint splatters. And I wanted to bring in the little pennant just to show, um, and that was from one of our, our monthly kids, just to show the, the different, the paper that came from this photo line, because I just loved it. And again, um, this is photo play. So um, it was called hard at play. And I used funky frills, 1A, 1B, the pickup a la carte, uh, orange jute and thickers. And I use walnut stain. So I wanted to bring in a little bit of the browns um, since it was such bright color. And if you see the caution and then the little road over here, that was part of the sticker set that, that came in the kit. So that is Casey during quarantine. And this tells you how comfortable he was. He just ran around in his underwear and we were potty training him while we were quarantined. Mom was and grandma was just laughing and enjoying it. <laughs> so. I just love all the quarantine stories. So here's another one during quarantine. This was a special day. Um, we had to wait. And um, this actually just came about in August. And I still very much so consider, consider this quarantine time because we were still wearing masks. The only people allowed in church were grandma and grandpa, um, along with mom and dad and the siblings and you know Haley was so sad during the spring that she didn't get to have her first communion so what a blessing this was to finally get to have this and um we're just sad that grandpa wasn't able to be a part of it because um well he was I'm not going to say that I know grandpa was there in spirit without a doubt um but it was very important to Haley and when I saw this paper line can anybody guess whose paper line this is, because I have two very much so favorites um, besides Photo Play and Kiwi Lane. My third one is this company's and the colors are just absolutely stunning. So, and look at the templates. Anybody recognize which kit these are from? Woohoo, it's exciting. Coastal Highway, Cliffhanger, and I use Springtime, a lot of Springtime and Tiny Springtime, Tiny Nature, cherish and I did use black ink and then I brought in some of the string. So I'll zoom up on this page first. Again my focus was to really just show Haley and um, I wanted the five by seven and I wanted it to be all about her and what a special day this was. So um, I took the arrow and I pointed the arrow to her and then on this piece, I just didn't put the arrow's edge. I just flipped the arrow and put two of the edges that way. And I made my own cross. So, hey, we got a winner. Patty Kreifels, you are correct. It's Kaiser Craft. Kaiser Craft. They are one of my top, top paper lines that I love. So if you're wondering how I made the cross, I used the arrow template. And then when I did it on this one, I just flipped it and left the arrow off. And I just did two blunt edges. 
And again, I took my string. I love to add string. Can you guys tell me, tell that? I, I love that. And I just put that string in the dove's mouth. And then I added Nuvo around and embossed. It was a white embossed paper. I didn't, if I bought it embossed, it didn't, I didn't emboss it myself. So, and on this page, um, I just wanted to keep it simple. I didn't even want a big journaling. So I just took my white pen and I just wrote what it was and the day. And um, then I just took my templates. This is from springtime. And I just layered my flowers and added my, my jute string around there. Simple and elegant because that's what the day was. The day was about um, Haley getting her blessing and being able to um, take another step in her faith. So um, beautiful paper. The templates just were perfect for this. So I loved it, loved it again. Coastal Highway cliffhanger, springtime number one, and then in tiny springtime, I did 5T60, tiny nature 3T, cherish number four. So that was an important part of our COVID. And even though it was August, I'm telling you guys, COVID was, it's still here. It's still, um, still I guess, affecting us. So um, this is kind of, again, just recently, kind of towards the end of COVID, well, we're, we're still tackling it, like I just said, but um, I went over to visit the kids and they were so excited. It was their first year of gardening. <laughs> um, their mom's just been busy raising them. And so they decided that they would keep a simple garden, but they did potatoes and they did onions and um, the kids just, they loved it. They were out there weeding. Um, to have them be so excited watching the growth, I just had to put a lot of pictures on to show it. And so this is our COVID digging potatoes days. How fun is that? And again, I cropped down the pictures because I think my, my biggest thing at this point in time in my life that I've grown and probably changed with Kiwi is that I really want to speak the focus of the pictures. And so if I have to zoom in on them, just like Casey's face and showing his expressions, that's what I wanted to make sure I did. Another very simple layout. This is um, photo play again. And I just love the words digging potatoes and I just use the fall pieces. And if you can tell there's the little gnomies again, I think they're so fun and he's a turkey. Um, but I used a Nuvo pen and then this is actually a little chipboard piece. And I just uh, painted that brown and then I put some rust enamel on the top of it. So if you can see it. Do you like the tabs, Karen? I did too. I thought, how fun. I'm going to just show off, show those photos like they're all tabbed. Hey, here's the next piece. So again, um, this side, same thing. I just kept it really simple and the focus is on that, but this is the little chipboards and using the enamel. So thanks, Dawn. I'm glad you liked the layout. Um, this paper line was just fun. Look at <laughs> this side would be a blast to do too. It has traditions, autumn, pumpkin pie. So if you guys are photo play fans, make sure you grab some of that. All right. So this page that I'm gonna show you, I'm not totally done with it because I'm waiting for some pictures to come in. I did this first page. And then I was, was thinking I was just gonna call it good after the first page, but then I decided I needed to do a second page with it. So that's why I had to order more photos and I'll show you when I get to that. But um, you can tell what templates this came from. What a fun kit this was. And I love these and I love layering them. So this was shortly after we lost Dale and the kids all piled on me. And so I'm like, I just really need to show what a fun day that was too, because that is what inspires me and keeps me going is these three little smiling faces and my own two kids. But look at Casey's face and Eli's tilting in on me and Haley's just hanging out with those brothers. And I think that tells the story. And so then I brought the little octagon shape and I just highlighted each of them. And these were all pictures taken during COVID. 
And so I made this and then I decided I have more pictures that I want to use, but I didn't have the right size. So I started making this page <laughs> and I'll show you how it's going to go. But of course you can tell that I needed, I need big pictures, but I'm just going to show you that there's going to be a picture underneath each of these and I will post it when I'm all done so that you can check it out. But this is kind of how it's going to go. like this. And then this is going to go on to here. I might put this one on top. And then this one, I'm going to just simply pop dot it off. So I'll have that coming off the pages, but I'll have a picture in each of these. I'm not sure where else I'll go. Um, if you can tell these are little bees. So one of my focuses is to highlight, to, uh, to get those gone. So um, if there's ever a paper line that you love the colors, but you don't like something that's on it, my old saying is there's nothing that an embellishment can't hide. So if it's a print on your paper that you don't like, or if it's a mistake that you've made, a splotch of glue or a splotch of something, just know that there's nothing that an embellishment can't hide. So um, I ordered my pictures from MPEX when they come in because I had to have unique sizes. I'll be sure um, to post this on the um, Kiwi Lane page. Uh, so I'll share it definitely on there. So not on Facebook, but on our landing Kiwi Lane, Kiwi Lane page. So how cute is that? And again, all pictures taken during quarantine time. Okay, how are you guys holding up? So I'm gonna come back to these pages. When I did my last I, ideas to inspire, what I, my ideas to inspire was showing you guys how to use templates other than out of paper. So I, if, if some of you tapped into this, that's awesome. If you didn't, I'm just gonna give a quick little rundown of it. So I used washi tape and I laid my template on it and I drew a pencil line onto my background paper. And I just took my washi tape that's really thin. I didn't cut it, it came this way. And I just put um, two of the borders and uh, followed the template. And then I brought my paper and did it. So my ideas to inspire that day was just to show you how you, you can use the templates other than paper. And washi tape is one of them. So um, you could tell we spend a lot of time out in the water. This, I finally got the pictures on this page. So you can tell these were in that frigid cold water. This I used um, a, a paste and then I put on craft pebbles that this is all from Finnabar from Prima, Anna Dabrowski's products. And I can um, show you more and get you all the details if it's something that you guys wanna know. But I made my little truck and this is truly out of the truck and I made them into a Tonka truck. So just because it's a pickup, our a la carte pickup doesn't mean that you can't make it something else. So I turned it into a Tonka truck. And then I added my little sand and my little beachy, but I love, love the washi tape following the, um, following the borders template. So, and I also use the banners. This was just a fun layout. I loved doing it. And again, here's more of the sand. So um, if you want to know exactly what, again, I'll post um, what I used and I'll post pictures of many of these um, on the Kiwi Lane page so that on the landing page. Pretty simple, but just don't be afraid to go out of the, out of your um, standard area and know that you can use other products like washi tape to follow your templates as well. This was on the same ideas to inspire. And again, um, my apologies, my life got crazy because I had always promised that I would share these pages when I got them finished. So this was on the same, same idea, um, using our Kiwi Lane templates. But again, I laid my chevron down and I followed the pencil line on the 12 by 12 background paper. And then after I did that, instead of doing washi tape or paper, I used Nubo and I just followed the my pencil lines. So 
all of these little lines here, those are all out of Nuvo. And then I added two one inch things of, of my one inch border from the chevrons. So again, I added more sand. And then on my the bottom of my shovel and my bucket right here, I used um, some enamel accents. So that's where you dump it on and you heat it underneath as well. Thanks, Leslie. I'm glad you love my truck. I was afraid. I was like, how can I make this Tonka truck? But look up a picture and we can create anything. Um, this is my son as well. And I just took um, lots of Nubo around it. And I used a pop dot underneath every piece of that sun because I really wanted it to stand up. So Nubo on the word suite. And again, just showing you that um, you can use your templates for other things rather than just the paper. So get creative besides washi tape and Nubo. What would you guys use creating your templates and just being able to draw on? So, so fun. But more quarantine pictures. That's what I'm sharing with you today. Uh, this is another one of those ideas. This page isn't fully finished. I haven't decided where I'm going with it, but I was creating it when I did um, the ideas to inspire. Um, again, I drew a pencil line and then I took my Kaiser Craft 12 inch jewels and I used the jewels to create my border. So Sheila, Nuvo is a, it's a like a Stickles product. If you're familiar with Stickles, um, the makers of Nuvo changed it and it's spelled N-U-V-O and um, just go Google that, check it out on YouTube. You'll see tons of different ways and there's all kinds of different ones of them. But um, Nuvo has a less glitter concentrate. So for example, if this was Stickles, it would have made it so heavy that you couldn't see the wood on the background. Um, stickles is a high concentrate and don't get me wrong I love stickles but um, Nuvo allows you to put it on and you can still see the background of paper. Um, if I come across here come across some layouts that I did it here's a, here's one I'll show you one coming up but you can still see the pattern of the paper behind the Nuvo and so I love that. Um, the enamel I use Stampendous and again, it's just, it is a, it's, you don't have to emboss with it. When I put on my enamel and I'll show, I'll send pictures so that you guys can see it, but I literally would just dump it on and then I heat from underneath. So you don't have to have any fancy ink or anything with that. It's just a dump on thing. So yeah. All right. So back to this page. Um, I use the Nubo, I use the washi tape, and I use the jewels. And of course, I use all that beautiful paper with the templates as well. This time when I was doing it, it was just to inspire you guys to think about how to use your templates and show it off using different things besides paper. I'm glad you enjoy. <clears throat> Here's just a quick one pager that um, I pulled out. I told you old pictures while we were in quarantine and I was looking through old pictures knowing that I needed to get them scrapbooked. Um, so this was one <clears throat> from Harvest. Um, our, my son and my husband dumping from the grain cart to the semi. And I used the banner country. Um, I got a little fun little texture on here. And I'm sure in the end, this will end up at two pages as well so that I can do more, document more from this um, last year's farming season. So I need to get with that though, before I know it, we'll be harvesting for this year. So just a fun, simple, but um, the idea of the 12 by 12 single is just showing you guys how the templates can just make it so simple and yet so fun and elegant. You just don't need a lot of stuff on the page. On the orange layout, is that a sticker or template cutting the word dream? On the orange layout. Um, I'm sorry, I'm missing which, which one it was, dream. Let me go back here. Oh, I found it. You're talking about this page. 
this thing, um, it says summer dreams are made of this. And so I use just the template and I put it over the paper. So it is the template cutting the word. Yep. You got it. And I love to use the templates a lot like that and bring those in. Um, I've showed this page before, but I'm going to show you some of the my favorite pages. And again, this was like during um, quarantine. This was Easter. Um, very, very special pictures because Dale's still moving around and got to enjoy the kids on Easter. Actually, it was our first official Easter egg hunt at Grandma and Grandpa's. So super, super special. Um, again, I've showed this layout. Some of you may have seen it before, but I just, I love it. It's one of my favorites. I love the paper line and I love what the pictures are telling the story of um, Easter at Grandma and Grandpa's. And we were in high quarantine at this time. So this again, Sheila, this is Nouveau on top of pattern paper. So you can still see the Swiss dots underneath it, where if that was stickles, you wouldn't be able to see any of the pattern paper. And that's why I would consider myself a Nouveau addict. <laughs> so just a fun layout. Again, lots of Nouveau, glossy accents on top of the Easter egg. But one of the things that I always like to highlight, to highlight out, and I even show pointed out to my kids because I talk about Nouveau all the time. I'm sorry, not Nouveau, Kiwi Lane all the time. Um, when they're here and we're pulling out our albums like I'm doing with you guys today, I, I just keep highlighting that each page looks so different, each layout. So they never look the same. And that's what I love about the templates with Kiwi Lane because it's just so easy once you lay it out and design it, it's always different. And that is something that I struggled with myself and I owned a scrapbook store for 10 years. And so many people struggled um, with that. It's why it took them so long to create two pages because they didn't have the design part. So um, yes, Sheila, definitely get some Nouveau. Look at that. I have it on the edges. I have it everywhere. And Nouveau follows the borders really good again too. If I want to show off these fun little peaks um, for Easter, because I think Easter's full of eggs and bumps and fun things, well, that's what I was doing. And that's why I highlight it. Not only do I love it, but I'm highlighting the curvatures of the borders. So this was one of my favorite pages and that was during COVID. This was another one and I need to get pictures on this, but we can't go to the zoo because of being quarantined here still. So I just wanted to show you this page that I can't wait till we get out of COVID and I can take those grandbabies to the zoo. Then I'm gonna have some fun little pictures to go on them, but where the wild things are. And if you can tell what these things, they are made out of a fun little, well, all kinds of different borders and templates. Let me see if I actually, yep, this is one page. I was gonna say, I don't think that I got the stuff written on the back of that, but this is lacy trims. If you can tell, there's two lacy trims back to back on there. And then this is the Mickey Mouse template in the a la carte. And so we just made the lion's face. I know some of you have seen it. Same thing with this. Um, you can kind of tell when you start looking at the stuff backward, backwards, you can tell which templates they are, but the monkey and the lion were really fun to make. And the vine are just wood pieces I showed you earlier that I love. Um, I like the texture, I like 3D. So once we are out of quarantine, I'm going to be taking those grandkids to the zoo and we'll get the pictures on here, but never hurts to create the layouts waiting for while you're waiting when you're quarantined. Another one of my really fun um, pages that I enjoyed when I was going through my album to pull them out was this one. Um, this was one of my favorite monthly club kits. So if you're on here watching today and you are not a Kiwi Club member yet and get the monthly kit, you need to get a hold of your creative partner and find out all about it because it's amazing. But Again, just a simple one pager. And um, this is Casey. And look at the tag. I said, I think these girls know exactly what I'm thinking when they're creating these kits and picking out the paper. I could just squeeze you. I loved it because Casey's so cute. I always tell him my grandma's going to squeeze your cheeks. <laughs> 
So again, um, I love the border. I love the banner. I pull in the arrows. If you can tell, I probably use my, my favorite templates too often, the sun. Um, but that's what we're all about. Use, do what you love, create it how you love. Uh, this page uh, I made and I shared actually during an ideas to inspire as well. But what I'm showing you guys and sharing right now is just my favorite, some of my favorite pages. And they're pretty near and dear to my heart because I got the special little guy on there all, and a lot of them. And that's, um, that's what I'm going to live to scrapbook a lot. But this was, we love to travel together. And I thought, you know, the wood template and where we were, Black Sandy Beach, this was in Hawaii that I needed to tell this story. And talk about using templates like crazy. It's just fun to layer them. Just keep layering them. If you notice what's on my flowers, and these are real petals, so I think these were from Prima as well. And I took the Nubo and just put it on top of them. And then again, um, this was a black sandy beach from the picture. And so I used black enamel from Stampandus and the little gold flakes, because that's what it looked like that day. It just looked like there was gold out in that beach. So. Um, I love to do layering on pockets in certain areas. And so that's what I put Maui over here and just kind of showed off what Maui was all about for us. Being lazy, eating great food and spending time at the, at the water. This um, is glossy accents as well. Only this one is called crackle. How many of you heard of, have heard of that? So the crackle, once you put it on and you squeeze it on just like glossy, give it time and it just breaks right up. I did my Liberty Bell in, in crackle as well, but look at how neat that is. So I just, it added a whole new dimension to it, but it is called crackle glossy accents and it breaks up all on its own. You don't need to do anything. It just breaks up. Cool. Okay, I've got just a couple more. And then if you guys have any questions, make sure you just ask away. Um, I won't spend my whole couple hours. I could with all the pages that I have. <laughs> um, this is another one that I've created that I'm waiting for pictures to get out of quarantine. I, I'm not sure when the right pictures or the right moment comes, then I'll use, uh, I'll use the pictures, but they're not in the home cute little kitty pictures. I'm, I don't know what I'm looking for, but when we get, when we break out of this quarantine mode, everybody's going to be all happy. And I know I'm going to have a smiley little girl. So it will be about Haley because it says sweet girl. Um, again, I love to use the wood chipboard. So that's what this is. That's what this yellow piece is. It's a thin little chipboard. And then I just paint it with something, a lot of Prima products. I use a ton of Prima. Thanks, Dawn. I appreciate the compliment. Everybody's creative and I'm glad I've given you great ideas. The trick that I do that I can't stress enough is I, I do the system, which is the play to create. And I lay out my templates until I get a design. You kind of get that aha moment. You go, oh, that's it. I don't want to move anything anymore. I love it. So when I find what, what I would typically do is I would get my pictures, I would get my paper, that kind of coordinate with my with my pictures. And then I would take my photo templates and I would put them down and I figure out which pictures I'm gonna use. And then I bring in the pieces that I know I wanna um, use as an embellishment. And I literally would lay these out and design with it. So it's right with my templates so I know exactly what I wanna do. So sweet girl, I can't wait to get out of quarantine to get this to be a finished quarantine layout. Um, this is a little bit different, but this is one of my quarantine projects that I made. We all have these shadow boxes, right? So I was looking back through pictures and I realized that when Dale and I went on our last cruise that we were by a lighthouse, we were um, actually in San Juan and there was lighthouses all over. So I'm like, this is pretty special. And I wanted to really use the lighthouse. So I thought I'm gonna put this in one of our um, shadow boxes. So I painted the temp, the outside navy blue 
And if you can see, I've got a little sparkle on it. I use Nubo. And on my lighthouse, I use glossy accents. And I use my anchor. I got a little bit of paradise in. I can't remember which template they were exactly. And then I love these little jewel dots too. They're flat. But um, painted the background in a, in a little bit of like a coral cream. So, um, so we don't always have to do pages. It's an awesome, yes, Linda, it's a snap frame. Totally love it. Let me pop this out just to kind of show you. So um, yeah, and I used um, the background because again, I was trying to focus on where we were. So, so fun. I just painted the back. And then after I got the back painted, then I went ahead and did the play to create system and I laid out my design. And again, my features were Dale and I, the lighthouse and getting this new template in. Um, the lighthouse template and I love this. So navy blue is one, of, is one of my favorite colors. So that's why I went after navy blue when I found it and it just snaps right in. And then I just leave it set on my bedside stand. I actually like the snap, snap frames because it is fun to change the back, but I move them around my house too. So sometimes I have it on my, on my stand. And then the next time, oh, I know I've lost you guys again. Back. <clears throat> I don't know why it's doing that. I apologize um, if it's something on my side, but I was telling you guys about the snap frames because I think that we tend to put these in places and we just leave them there. And I use the snap frames. I change not only the back, but I move them all around the house. So one time they might be at my bedside um, while I'm um, putting it there so that I can enjoy it. But then the next time I'm putting it in my living room so that when people come over, um, they get to enjoy it and see it as well. And then I might slide it in downstairs into our um, game room area. So um, just move it around your house so that when you have company over, different people see it in different places and they might catch it. So just a little snap frame. This is something that I wanted to share as well. This is one of my little secrets. I'm gonna pull my album out. But for those of you that are creative partners, um, when I go to different events, I have this on my album and it says Kiwi Lane Club Play to Create. So all of my pages in it were specifically from, Ki from Kiwi Club. So when I have customers look at it, it creates that little question of them saying, What's Kiwi Club? <laughs> and um, it's a good marketing tool, but I think every customer deserves to know about it. And sometimes when you get busy, you forget to maybe ask them. So I figure if they look at the album, um, if I forgot to ask them or if the, my booth gets really packed, they'll say, hey, what's Kiwi Club? So I'm just gonna briefly show you some pagers. I hope the glare is not terrible. I'm gonna close up with some of my Kiwi Club pages. Not necessarily did I make these at all during the quarantine, but during quarantine, we were looking back at these pages and having a blast doing it. So I hope um, on the remainder days of your quarantine days that you guys um, refer back and keep peeking at your albums, pull them out all the time and share them. So um, these were just some that I had made and I've got some empty spots because don't forget, I was at a show and so I was um, pulling some. This was um, a kit from a couple, couple of years ago already. Christmas, can't wait to see what's coming up for December. Maybe we can talk Susan into giving us sneak peeks for a few months ahead. <laughs> Anybody want to put a little peer pressure on here? Are you watching yet, Susan? We want to peer pressure you on knowing what's coming up ahead. By the way, how many of you guys loved the September kit? And how quickly Mindy got that out to all of us? Love it. This was from January. Um, and remember, it was the Capture Smiles. This is one of my favorite big templates. Love that. Thanks, Linda. I'm glad the glare, glad the glare isn't bad. Um, this one, I just wanted to get on a lot of pictures, so a lot of fun. This one was from March, 
Um, I loved the arrow and you know, I'm not in Arizona. I remember when I got this kit and I thought, um, we're not an Arizona girl, but oh, how fun we can have it be. Cause if you can tell, I gave my little cactus googly eyes. So I thought, well, that'd be a fun thing in Nebraska. And I love the chipboard that they gave us in this kit. It said together. It's just a great way to show these off. Um, they were family pictures and the, her, their little sentiment was love grows here with a little cactus. I guess it's kind of like photo plays little gnome. I don't have gnomes in Nebraska either. So <laughs> um, don't be afraid to grab that paper and use it even if it's not fitting of your area. Woohoo, Don, you just joined Kiwi Kit and got your first one. So loving. I, I can't imagine how excited you are. And you know what? I've been in, had Kiwi Club since the very beginning. And congrats, Sheila, on your first kit too. Yay. Um, I am still just as excited today when I get a Kiwi Club as I did the very first one over two years ago. So you guys are just in for a treat every month. So you're probably enjoying some of these old kits. This one, let's see, I think this was June. And oh, this was really fun because I, I'm gonna pull this out, I gotta show you. This is again, my Nubo, my Nubo junkie. Look at my popsicle, <laughs> so fun. And in fact, on this day, you guys, I didn't have any popsicle pictures with the grandkids and our kite template came and so did the popsicles. And I'm like, okay, grandma is going to take popsicles over and snap po photos of them <laughs> and so they were like okay we'll, we'll let you take pictures and so they were all into these um eating popsicles so they are always amazed at what I'm going to show up with to get pictures um, if I don't have what fits the kit I'm going to make the photos fit the kit so it was just a great way and again look at the small pictures I showed that on some of my quarantine pages it's fun. Change it up. Don't always use a four by six. Crop those pictures down. Um, a lot of times, I hate to admit it, but I took the picture too far away anyway. And sometimes I could crop it to a four by four, but in reality, I can get to a two by three. So don't be afraid to change that up. But this was one of my favorite kits too. And if you see this little summer fun, that um, was in the kit but I think it was a different color. I can't remember if it was a green. So I took my Nubo and I made it blue and changed it. So that's another thing, just because you don't like something that you have doesn't mean that you can't change it, right? Oh, anybody re recognize this? This was something I was really excited that um, Kiwi Lane re-released for their 11th birthday. How cool, um, because this was another one of those really sought out kits like um, June, July, this was August, the very first ones that they did. Um, Dawn, how do I size down pics? Is there a special program? No, like I said, I tend to take my pictures too far away. So when I'm looking at my four by six, um, it's just too far away. And so I take my photo mats and I lay them on top and I wish I had them with me. I didn't think about bringing that up and, and showing that technique. But um, when I post my pages on the Kiwi Lane landing page, I will take a picture of a template laying on it showing you how I, how I size it down. It'll just be a picture and I'll put it in the comments. So watch for that. But this was the August kit and I need to get pictures on here, right? There's been lots of grandkids, it's grandkids' birthdays, so I have to do that. This kit was way back from November. Again, this is one of the favorites that people really liked. This big old flower was amazing. It was a full flower and I actually cut it off on the edges just to use it in a different way. But we had the wagon and the turkey and look at how cute the words from theirs. There is always, always, always something to be something to be thankful for. So again, use their title cards and I put the turkey template over it. Super fun. Nothing fancy or elegant, you guys. It's just um, keeping it simple and showing off the pictures and the templates. Again, two more pages from that same kit. Yep, I can scoop my album up higher. Is that better? Is that better, Debbie? Hopefully you can see it better then. 
Um, this was from, again, the November one, and here's the flower in full. And sometimes I think we tend to, um, we always just cut out the flower or whatever templates. And I think that we forget that it's paper. It can be, it, you can fold it, you can bend it and you can do all the different things. So I just squeezed the leaves in half and created the um, crease. And then I took my ink and inked it so that I just added a little bit more definition to that flower rather than it being plain. And I did the same thing with the green behind it. So remember you're dealing with paper. So change it up, make it different. That's how we can um, do different things. Again, such neat quotes. So, well gals, that's kind of my story. And um, these are some of my pages. And I will try to post if there was something that you really wanted. I can't post all of these pages for sure. But I'm glad, I hope Debbie, you're getting screenshots. I'll cruise back through just real slow. So if there's another one that you wanted to screenshot, now that the book is better up here, then maybe you can. Let me try to get it even better. And I'm, I'm so glad to share with you guys. I hope that you've been crafting during the quarantine. I know that the beginning of the year from February to, oh, what do I want to say? February to June was pretty rough. J July and August have gotten a little bit more lenient as we've gotten all in different phases. Um, but technically, we're still somewhat quarantined. And when I'm home, this is what um, keeps my sanity. I think this is what releases. Susan always talks about that, that you need to be creative in some form or manner just to stay healthy so your mind is healthy. Because when I'm doing this, everything else just doesn't really matter. It's all good. So thanks, Nikki. I'm so glad that you love to love to hear from me. I, I appreciate all of your guys' love and it, it melts my heart. So um, be sure to share your pages on Kiwi Lane's landing page as well, because we all love to steal, right? That's what it's called, scrap lifting. All right, you guys have a great, um, oh, I'm glad you got the quick shots. That's awesome. And I'll post some of these newer pages that I used for sure. I'll be posting, let me grab them. I will be for sure pay, posting the ones from the quarantine kit. So I'll get good pictures of these and, um, and get them posted on the landing page. So thank you. I hope that you guys have been inspired today and I hope that your quarantine again has been filled with creativity. So happy Thursday, stay safe, stay healthy.